I'm just trying to see where he did. I don't see shit about it. I don't see it I either. Just, I'm trying to look through um the games like on your stream or on your Twitch. Uh, they'd be on the YouTube as well. Oh, they are. All right, cool. Yeah, that will probably be better. Let me go look there. I don't think uh, everything I've streamed, I have not streamed a guy named. I haven't either. Uh, Chester or John. I have not either. Now he I'm... claims he filled for them a couple weeks ago. Which it, which wouldn't be true because he just joined. Yeah. So. But then he also told you about it about how he how you know. That this the. Um, I, don't know. I had a conversation with him uh, yesterday about him joining the league. Literally yesterday. If you'd like to f join in next season, please fill out this form, and then information was exchanged. It was not Screaming Eagles. That was actually a long time ago. This is Lunatics vs. Vibrant Tigers. This, wait, no, that's a month ago. The fuck? Yeah, no, I don't see anything on your, on either of your channels, by the way. I, yeah, I, I just didn't see, I didn't see it there. Hold on, let me look at their schedule. I want to see if it's, um, what's his name? Or where the, where the fucking schedule is at? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Everybody's loading in. We're going to get another try at this. I don't see. It looks like Cooper Coffin did just show up for them as well. Interesting. All right, I'm ready to get this rolling. I'm going to have to push the tennis set back. Here we go, here we go. Do you hear that? Okay, that's a car engine. Okay, thank goodness that's a car engine. I heard... I was like, please yeah. tell me that's not a person. Please tell me that's not a person. I, my guess is it's sex bomb bombs. Every time she's been... Her car's been in here, I've always heard that engine. I'm assuming it's her. Finally, we're underway in game one. Hopefully, uh... Nothing else happens to delay this game even further than what it would be. But we have German Eagle versus Mallory Olympic. There you go. And, uh, yeah, good shit. German Eagles have pretty much been the two dominant teams this season. The only time German Eagles has lost is to good shit. The only time good shit has lost is to a forfeit. So, this is going to be a tall mountain to climb for um, Mount Lord Lunatics, but anything can happen. I mean, I think they can pull it off here. Uh, they've got, you know, the leader. They've got the chemistry. Big save there by Bomb Bomb, though. Yeah, I'm going to go right to the tail. I'll be at that guy. 50 well. Let's see what happens. Actually, we were discussing this even before all that stuff happened. That I thought I was originally going to be Strat Cat in this as well. Instead of the B-Boy Jet, but he is actually in. Speaking of which, got the demo. 
So nothing's really much gonna happen with that. Yeah, it's an interesting lineup here. I, uh... We're, we're looking at a scoreless game with, what, a minute and 30 played so far, and, you know... Maybe if I'm screaming Eagles, this is not the rotationary team I'm gonna roll with for the rest of the series. We'll see. I mean, if it works, it works. I, you don't want to change what's not broken or fix what's not broken. But at the same time, though, you just you just have to let this game play out. Obviously, so far, nothing has very much been put on the scoreboard for either team yet. Not great, but it's also obviously not bad either. Obviously, it's a decent shot saved away. I guess that was a little wide, but it's still cleared away. It's not to the blue man. Sounds like they try to get a pass. Not so much going there either, but the pressure. So they're gonna keep going, or kick off. So now Potato's gonna look to finally clear this away. Albeit still kept in the max velocity. Nothing much doing though. Oh, that was a clear over? I wanna say Cooper Coffin. Nothing dangerous really happens. Right? I'll be honest, so far, I would kinda think the Screaming Eagles would have. More pressure than they did, but my little lunatics, they have been having so much pressure. I mean, they've been pretty much the more dominant team, quote unquote. I've seen that dominant, but they've been the team to put on the most pressure. And I'm shocked. We're, you know, through halfway of game one here, and we're still scoreless. Yeah, I actually kind of expected, maybe not a shootout. I think I, I expected a shootout. Yeah, goal. Oh, like maybe one or two goal turns for this. Surprising. But sometimes you have to throw in a defensive game. Potato, a good My air jump. Good off of it. But he was able to stay with it. One nothing. Super kind of a little awkward to jump. Max just trying to get the ball, but. That one extra touch by Potato was able to get it around him. One nothing for um, Screaming Eagles. Maybe looking to do another. Potato with a double. A little too um, low below him. And if I'm Mount Lower Lunatics right now, you can't let that goal get to you at all. They have fought so well and might have a chance to answer back. Missed opportunity there. As long as they can keep the pressure, that would be really great for them. It has been the great equalizer, as we kind of felt like, you know, Screen Eagles has been a much tougher team to beat, and you know, Lunatics have come in here so far and kept it a very close game. Very close game for sure. This might be a little dangerous. People, Jen doesn't get to touch with Max, doesn't either. Maybe Max got picked out a little bit. But that does get cleared away into the blue half, so Cassante is going to. Actually, pass it to Max it actually works out. And I think Bomb Bomb got bumped a little bit. The potato. Not the bump. Got so as to move around two people. Potato. Gets the boost. Not the 50, but Cooper K was able to play it better. Back to the corner. Actually, does get cleared away by Kante. A little bit of the corner game happening a little bit. Maybe the demo will free some stuff up. But Cooper K gonna get the touch. And B Boy Jed capitalizes. This is unfortunate. That's that is unfortunate. If we're being honest, Cooper K try to catch it and just Car was just not in the right spot and as a result, B Boy Jed was able to capitalize on it. Game's not over. But you most definitely would like to have a goal sooner rather than later. And by sooner, I mean pretty much right about now. You know, honestly, on a bit of a positive spin, if I am the Mount Lord Lunatics right now, I'm not. I don't. I don't feel too bad if this game one loss. Okay, there was a lot of confusion which led to the delay. You didn't know who your starting three was going to be going into this game. Outside of uh, Max Velocity, they had no idea who it was going to be. It was it going to be. Uh, the the un ineligible player wasn't going to be filling it. Cooper K, Uber K wasn't even in the conversation at the time when we were talking all this. So, like, a lot of moving parts for them going into game one. 
and for them to lose this close to a team that's performed so well, I don't think you worry at all. I think you just try to find that rhythm and hit back in game two. Yeah, I... I'm going to somewhat disagree. I think you have to be a teeny bit worried. It almost seemed like Screaming Eagles finally found their stride towards the closing part of game number one. So, as long, as long as you contain them, I think it would be fine. But at the same time, though, you would definitely love it, love if, um, you know, you can get back to what happened earlier in game one, where it was just like a shutout. You had most of the pressure. Just find a way to get back there. I think the we'll key for Lunatics to win this series is going to be winning close games or low scoring games. Winning by a goal or two goals and not giving up any goals is the only realistic option I think they're going to have. Yeah, that's not going to really help it. Don't know if Max is going to miss touch. I mean, I know Cassante, I think, touched it. I'm mean, actually didn't get the touch, and Cassante definitely got in this touch, and that's just easy for a Shrek Cat. One nothing early on, and now if they're gonna, I mean, if they want to win these close games, like you can say that they're gonna have to do, they're gonna have to score three at least. As Potatoes gets goal number two. And that's just an unfortunate kickoff goal. Yeah. I can't say much else about that. Well, how do you respond, I guess? Kick off goal their own? Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Sante? They're actually gonna have to back, back off of it, but I'm out with get the save. Sante. Trying to start something. Actually has to leave it. Jack at bumps, but it does get it around the other, and I bomb bomb. Gets the flick over one, but that got saved by Sante. Gets taken out. Looks like a heavy. Demo play right now for Team Eagles. They're not trying to let up. I actually dig it, I won't lie. Get in their heads. I mean, we're what? We're not even a. We're, yeah, we're about a minute played now. This is going to be interesting. Uh, there's plenty of game left to play here in game two. Mount Lord Lunatics just need to buckle down and execute here. Yeah, that almost was it. Max had a great pass. Of, okay, get the read on it might may have been a missed opportunity but there is way more than plenty of time that's a good 50 but potato was able to get back there in time at least now what can happen it's gonna be dangerous max does get the touch but he's gonna need help from the game he does get the help not Cassante. just one touch pass all oh, backwards the bump max is not in the right angle to score it Maybe expected that pass to go a little more central than it did. It Either feels way. like this has happened a few times now for the Lunatics, and uh -oh. they've had an opportunity to potentially get a goal, and it just hasn't gone their way. Yeah, the pass. I know the pass there could have been a little more central, maybe, at least comparative to where Matt uh, was. But I do agree, there are some opportunities. Still, over half the game still remains. Play more opportunities to come, most likely. That will not be one. Easily saved by six on but Max is gonna try to create one. Potato was able to collect it. It's gonna be a double commit. Might not be the greatest of double commits. Strackan also went up with Potato. Potato was able to get a little bit of a bump. It's actually a little. Sad, but in all reality. You had three people in net, and I don't think they're gonna score that one. I'll be—it was a little surprising to see. I, I'll agree with you there. I'd like to see some bullying. I see you see Cassanti doing a little bit of it right there. I like to see a little bit of bully play coming out from Lunatics. Don't let Screaming Eagles just sit three people in goal like that. Yeah, that that time was just kind of happenstance, but I do agree. Getting some type of bumps, some type of disruptive play. You really, I mean, you said Sante's done it a little. I've seen it a little. They need but more of it. Exactly. They need a lot more of it. And obviously, you can ask a little bit more from Sante, but you, but obviously, he was the one at least doing a little bit. That's a boomer of a player, but that does get cleared away um, cleanly by my mom. But yeah, no, I would definitely like to see Cooper K and Mech Velocity get more into the demo game. Uh oh. 
That was dangerous. But won't go in for now. Okay. Let's so do shoot it. That might be a hard save. Just as the save and track act gets a clear. Good save. Good effort by Potato. Drag hat will be able to get cleared. This is actually going right towards Potato. He's going to go off the backboard pass like my mom. Not get three, and that will get cleared away. But we have one minute remaining. Three mini goals are up by two. We got two early goals. Sante is playing a little physical. Keep okay with him. Pass. Looks like my mom has actually been pretty good defensively. I'll give her that much. Not a bad 50 either, but Sante is going to look for the pass that's getting touched. Now potato. He's gonna have free reign in the air for a little bit. I'll be it. That's good. Well, that was a close one. And there's a little bit of physicality. It's not too bad of a bump, but it just did not get cleared away. It's like any time there's a demo on Screaming Eagles, someone just fills that gap immediately. Oh, oh, what a clear out by Strat Cat. I believe it was Strat Cat. I think it was a team pinch. That might just go win, but it does not matter. They're going to win game two. And now my Lord Lunatics are going to have to reverse sweep if they want to advance through the Challenger Cup. It was already going to be an uphill battle. It is okay. You you literally you don't worry about the score right now. You do not worry that you're down 2-0 in the series. But you need to play like it's the last opportunity you're going to have to play this season. Because it basically is. Yeah, pretty much. I do agree. You have to play with a sense of urgency. But at the same time, though, take it one game at a time. You don't need to really be also like panicky about it you be you be panicky you're gonna miss a lot of things and you're probably gonna give up game three but if you're able to just stay you know if you're able to just keep a calm mind and do i don't know what i'm trying to say actually i do know i just can't put it into words if they're able to just stay calm and collected and take it one game at a time they'll be fine but it's obviously easier said than done because they still need to stop the offense and pressure that the screaming eagles are um, putting on them. We well, see. So here's the thing. I think they've got to they've got to really put their full game together here going into game three because they've shown that they can hold the eagles' offense in game one and in game two. There was plenty of times like throughout the majority of the set where they just didn't. It wasn't a big scoring fest, uh, uh, but. It's going to come down to them being able to finally put points on the board because they haven't been able to score a single goal and just maintaining whatever pressure they can get going. Falling behind 2-0 at any point is just not going to... You're not. It's not a recipe for success, and this is not a recipe for success either. I mean, it is. Maybe for a screaming eagles. I don't actually know exactly what happened. I was switching cameras. I can't just got out of the max, it seems like. But... Yeah, either way, five seconds, another kickoff goal. Pretty much what killed Blue Lunatics last game. So like you said in the intermission, this is pretty much do or die for the Lunatics. One opportunity. Or maybe multiple, depending on how they convert this one opportunity right here. Max oh. goes for the pass. I actually don't blame the pass. This is actually Nature's Cooper Game's gonna get the shot, but it's saved by Strackat. Now they're gonna take it off the wall, but B-Boy Jeff, who is filling in for 6 bomb bomb for this match. Move back. He's gonna be looking to fire up his team maybe a little more. I don't know. But either way, though, B-Boy Jeff is going for the oh, shot. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Goal number two for Team and Eagles. And this is basically where we, where I said that they, they couldn't be. You can't be down 0-2 and hoping to win this series. Yeah, you pretty much. But I'll give credit to B-Boy Jet. That was actually good to control him. It's a good shot. I think that's, especially in challengers, that's a little, a little bit of an art that needs to be found, in a sense. And not many people, you're not going to see many people do it. Uh, aside from, obviously, the higher level players in the league. And obviously, no offense to him. But I, I do like to see something like that. But I'll learn Lunatics need to find something here. Am I not? Oh no, this is not going good for them at all. 
a pass by Cassante, and in all reality, Dragon just kind of baited him into doing it. And, well, Potato was right there for the finish. I don't know where the other two defenders were, but... Three to nothing. This is starting to get out of hand. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know what to say on this one. It is it is looking very rough for the Mount Lower Lunatics. Yeah. I think maybe just maybe. I mean, honestly, Max Velocity played that well. He, he was patient. He waited for the, the 50 to end and then went up for the ball. He just could not get there in time. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of time left to play here. Oh. Oh. And the, you know, down four goals, it is tough. I don't want to call it yet. It's still way too soon, but it's not looking good. I won't call it either, but at the same time, though, with how much pressure they've had, almost scoring a fifth goal, the Eagles are looking really promising to take this um, series and move on to the Challenger Cup. Game's not over. Right now, though, it's focusing on not getting um, perfect swept. If I'm not mistaken, that's the um, terminology. The clean sweep. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to be swept without scoring a goal. Which I think that's what perfect sweep is called. Or I could be wrong. I don't remember the terminology for it. That might be it, though. But either way, right now, what it takes, they need to get a goal, and it would love to happen right here as soon as they can get out their half, which you're hoping right now. But that was not a great touch from Max Velocity. That might just go in, but Cassante was able to bail him out. Don't get cleared. Cassante was able to get to the ball first. Potato was right there, threading and waiting. Drag Hat will be able to get there right back. Half the game, or less than half the game remaining. Drag Hat breaks out one. Cassante was able to get there. And now, what can he set up? A decent pass back. So Max Velocity wasn't in position to take a shot. Instead, he'll keep it there. An uh, interesting touch, maybe calculated, but Sante did not get the reach. Is that just gonna go in? Rupert! Right? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, he does get the save. But, you love for them to convert on a mech. Do so, the strength happens. There in time. And now, Potato. He does get 50 by Sante. Very promising 50 for Lunatics. A good demo, Sante. No. Okay. Just kind of waited there. Potato was already up there. Potato also got the bump on the Sante. So, a little bit of a jumble mess. I actually got oh. out of the Sante. Oh. I think he never just got there. Just a little wide. That guy will be able to clear Potato. I think that was just not get too much. Max, a back pass. Not a nice, or a great touch. Unless, or unless it's calculated, but obviously didn't amount to much. Demo on the back end. Okay. Potato. Nothing much happening there, but one more minute remaining. Four in game three. In less yeah. than a minute now. Down by four goals. Down 2-0 on the series. This could be it for Mount Lord Lunatics in the Challenger playoffs. Great save at Shrat Cat. That, it could be all she wrote right here. Beto, I don't know how he got that demo. He cleared away. Only for this B-Boy Jet with 30 seconds left. This is probably it. I don't see the Lunatic coming the back. Maybe they can. I have not seen much crazy stuff like crazy stuff like that happen. But either way though, Shrat Cat's gonna get goal number five. That's just pretty much the dagger. Yeah, with 15 seconds left, I get <laughs> That's the dagger in an already dead body. I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. But yeah, 15 seconds left. I mean, Screaming Eagles played well. Battle of Lunatics played well in the beginning of the series, but just something happened. And the pressure, and, and the frustration. Probably. Maybe they did let it get to their heads. And now you just wonder... Gasante is gonna be leaving if I'm not mistaken because he's moving up to majors. I just wonder how this roster is gonna look for next season. Especially since Flanagan won't be here either as he's captaining another team. Well, luckily they are in good hands as Max Velocity is one heck of a captain. 
in his debut season brings his team all the way into the playoffs. Uh, you know, the final two teams did not make it in Vibrant Tigers and Chaotic Crusaders. So at least he got his team a playoff berth here. And I think you kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit. You look at what your team had and where you came up short and what you could do differently. And thankfully, we do have the stream so they can go back and kind of VOD review this and, you know, just see see what you can do to improve. Get ready for next season, basically. Yeah, it's all you can really do so, do right now. All right, that is, that is going to wrap up the Screaming Eagles versus Mount Lower Lunatics Challenger playoff set. I should have Good Shiz versus the Mechmen coming up here shortly. Let me pop the stream down. I should have it back up in a few moments.